Hey guys, so as you can see, we're doing something a little bit different today. Uh, and today is going to be a try on of some of the items I've purchased from the Nordstrom anniversary sale. Uh, I'm sure you're tired of seeing these videos, but uh, I just wanted to kind of do it for myself as well. So uh, as I am filming this, it is the Saturday before the sale ends. So hopefully I will be able to get this video up either uh, today or tomorrow. Uh, and I also wanted to mention, uh, I put on my Instagram that this weekend is actually the sales tax holiday in Virginia. So uh, that's where I live. And uh, if you also live in Virginia, you can buy clothing and shoes items that are under $100 and not pay any sales tax. So that's a pretty great uh, deal. I think sales tax where I live is around like 6%, something like that. So not as high as some places, but uh, I think Delaware doesn't have sales tax at all. So uh, there you go. So I am a Nordstrom debit card holder. So I was able to start shopping with the last tier before it opened to the general public. Uh, I think that was July 16th. And uh, because I'm a debit card holder, I don't know if Nordstrom still offers debit cards or if they've moved to uh, credit cards exclusively. At the time I preferred a debit card uh, because on another credit card obviously but that means that I purchased a lot of items online that I was just kind of iffy about to see how they fit in person uh, and I very much would like to return these and uh, not continue to extend Nordstrom uh, a business loan as it were uh, so just a little bit about my shape and style and all that uh, so I'm like 5'10 5 5'11 5 somewhere around there uh, and I usually go for larges or extra larges. Uh, I think like a lot of people, I have gained a little bit of weight, I think, over the last 18 months. So I'm probably on the higher end of that spectrum at the moment. Uh, and I do have um, a relatively small chest. I think I'm like an A cup, so not much going on there. Uh, let's see. Uh, as far as my preferences in terms of buying clothing, uh, anything that was hand wash only, I pretty much skipped out on because that's just not going to happen realistically. Uh, I'm fine with like washing things on the delicate cycle and then hanging them to dry, that's fine, uh, but I don't want to hand wash. And as far as the items I was looking for, uh, as I've mentioned before, we were planning to go to Chicago at the end of September slash early October. I'm not sure if that's gonna happen. Uh, so I was kind of purchasing some items with that trip in mind, you know, wanting to look cute and everything but I'm not sure. So uh, I think I still got some great pieces, kind of basics that I'll be able to use. Uh, and I did pick up some more fall inspired items, but uh, there are definitely some items I purchased with that trip in mind that I will be returning. And as I'm sure you've heard, the Nordstrom anniversary sale puts uh, the next season's items on sale. So it's not like the last seasons that are going, um, that they're trying to get rid of. These are actually the new pieces that have come in um, and they put them on sale. So it's kind of a unique sale in that respect. Okay, so like I said, I'm a debit card holder, so I had a little bit of an earlier jump on things than some others, but not um, the first two or three tiers, I think, that spend like an ungodly amount at Nordstrom every year. So I, like I explained in one of my videos, I sometimes wake up at three to 4 a.m. Uh, just naturally. Uh, I think one of my sleep cycles finishes. So I didn't set an alarm or anything like that, but uh, I did wake up and I did place several orders. Uh, Mel's, oh, what's her name? I think her channel name is Mel's Makeup. She did a great video kind of explaining some of her frustration with the Nordstrom sale uh, and her experience with like out of stock items and that sort of thing. So I'll link that for you if you're interested. But um, I did place several orders. I think the prevailing wisdom is that try to place smaller orders rather than one large order. Uh, I ended up placing one order right off the bat for the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk makeup set, which I did a whole video on. This may be out of stock at the time you're watching this, but the like Pillow Talk palette, which is also what I'm wearing today, uh, and the eyeliner are, I think, staple items in Charlotte Silver's collection. So you can just purchase those kind of a la carte if you uh, so choose. So I did do a video dedicated to that uh, makeup collection. Uh, so that was one order. And with that order, I also got some uh, free gifts with purchase. I got the Pillow Talk uh, blush, which I'm also wearing. 
and I think some like skincare items and a mini lipstick. Uh, I think I saw now that they're offering the free palette of pops in the Pillow Talk shade. If you spend over $150 of Charlotte Tilbury items, they don't have to be items in the sale. They can be anything. Uh, so if you are interested in that particular item, you might want to check it out. And then the two items I was kind of excited about, I placed one order with just these two items. Uh, one was the Free People jacket. I think it's like the minimalism or minimalist jacket, something like that. And from what I can tell, it's kind of a recurring style that Free People does in different colors from year to year. So I still have my eyes on that. That was $129.90 down from $198. Uh, so that was one item and then i also ordered the cut from the cloth faux suede jacket in extra large buff uh, so that was one order that i placed uh, i also placed i showed this in my previous video as well i ordered a hydro flask that i picked up in store to get like an extra ten dollar nordstrom note and then i picked up a lot of kind of more basic items uh, so I ordered the CC Puff Sleeve Mixed Media Top. That ended up being canceled. Uh, I ordered this Open Edit Necklace, which I think might also be sold out, but I thought it was a really cute little necklace. The cool thing about this necklace is that it is a magnetic closure. So I think they might have some different styles that do this, but it's just a magnet which is kind of cool you have to make sure that you're lining it up right otherwise you know it's polarized and it won't it won't stick but anyway uh, yeah I, I like that little necklace and it wasn't too expensive uh, so that was one thing and then I did get this Caslon t-shirt that I'm wearing um, this is just the black color and this is something I do plan on keeping uh, I ordered the same t-shirt, everyone talks about these Caslon pocket tees. Uh, this was the one I had ordered last year. Uh, I think this is the navy peacoat color. And this is one of those where they say to um, wash in the delicate cycle and then lay flat, which is kind of a pain, but it is what it is. Uh, this is 60% cotton and 40% modal or Modal. And I just thought I would show you a little bit of kind of the wear and tear. I did pull this from my laundry basket, so uh, I apologize in advance if there's some deodorant on it or whatever. So I do get a fair bit of use out of it. So I don't know if that's going to kind of show up on camera. There's some light pilling kind of underneath the arms after like, you know, a year of wearing it more or less. So I just wanted to point that out. It's not a deal breaker or anything. I think these are kind of a very flattering um, t-shirt for not a bad price point. All right, so that's the first item I have to try on for you. Okay, so the next item is this uh, Free People, I think it's the like Natasha ruched sleeve uh, long sleeve t-shirt. I'm kind of on the fence about this one, so you guys will have to let me know what you think about it, although by the time you watch this video it's probably going to be too late. I just, I don't know, I don't know that it's super flattering, it's maybe a little bit tighter than I'm comfortable with at the moment. Uh, and this I think is like a $38 t-shirt, so I don't know. This, this might be going back, I just don't know if I love it enough for the price. Okay, so next up we have the Caslong long sleeve top, which again, I just, it's not the most expensive t-shirt, but I think it's just, I don't know, a little tighter than I'm comfortable with at the moment, and I don't know that it's as flattering as those uh, short sleeve tops. So if it were the same cut and it were a bit looser and had that v-neck, I'd probably be all about it, but it's just a different style and cut of um, shirt from them, and uh, I have another um, t-shirt to try on for you in a minute here, so I don't I don't love this. I'll probably return it. Okay, so I did the thing I was worried about, and that is talk about an item and not hit the record button because I've been stopping and starting, but I think I'm just going to let it run and hopefully change quickly enough. Uh, so anyway, this is a uh, long sleeve black t-shirt that I got from uh, Banana Republic Factory. And I like this one a lot more than the Caslon. 
Uh, it has um, a little bit more give to it, so it's fitted, so it'll layer well, but it's not quite as, you know, tight around the tummy area. Uh, it does have more of a v-neck, which I prefer anyway, and uh, this is about the same fabric composition as the Caslon. It's about, I think, 60% cotton and 40% modal. Uh, but this one just feels a little bit softer. I think it has a little bit nicer um, of a drape to it, even though it's a little bit more fitted. So uh, I like this more than the Caslon, so I'm gonna be keeping this and returning the other one. And I don't remember exactly how much this is or was because the prices tend to fluctuate from day to day uh, depending on what sales they have going on at the moment. So I just wanted to kind of offer this as an option or an alternative um, if you don't like the Caslon or you just want something uh, maybe a little bit different. Uh, so yeah, so this is from Nana Republic Factory. Okay, so also from Banana Republic Factory, I got a pair of V-necks. I think this is their like timeless t-shirt, timeless tee um, style. Again, just another option. Uh, this feels very similar to the long sleeve. Uh, so, you know, if, if the Caslon is no longer in stock, or no longer on sale and you want to explore some other t-shirt options. I think this is also like a really great um, basic. I think this is like the navy color. Uh, it doesn't have a pocket. It's a little bit more of a pointed v-neck as opposed to a rounded v-neck. Uh, so yeah, I thought that was a pretty good thing to pick up. I'm going to be well stocked in t-shirts this fall. Uh, and I also got the same one in black as well. So more goodies from Banana Republic. Okay, so next up we have a tee from BP, which I think Castle might also be a Nordstrom uh, store brand, I'm not sure. Uh, but anyway, this is I think a size large as well. Yeah, this is in the shade Navy Dusk. And I think this is actually more of like a lounge um, sleep shirt almost. So it has a much kind of looser, uh, boxier fit. Um, but these are really nice comfortable uh, t-shirts uh, just to like sit around the house in. Uh, you can see the shoulder seam comes off the shoulder a little bit. Uh, so yeah, these are nice. I got this one last year, so slightly different color. And again, it has some like kind of minor pilling underneath the arms and stuff, but it's not anything terrible. And this, by the way, is a 60% cotton, 40% polyester blend. And this is machine wash cold, but you can tumble dry it uh, if you like. So uh, these are nice kind of inexpensive t-shirts. They might not be as good for layering, um, but if you want a looser fit or again, just something kind of inexpensive to throw on around the house, um, these are good. And then I also got the same shirt uh, in the black as well. Okay, so before I take these off, these I actually purchased in store. These are from Wit & Wisdom. They are the Absolution High Rise Ankle Length Pants. And uh, like I said, I think I've put on a little weight uh, over the last year and a half. I'm trying to get back and go to the gym and do yoga and stuff, but we'll see how long that lasts. The exercise bike I purchased last summer because I couldn't go to the gym uh, is currently serving as a clothes rack. So I might have to kind of dust that off and start using it at home. But anyway, uh, so yeah, so these are some black, very stretchy jeans. Uh, I think the only way I was gonna really get into jeans this fall is if they were something like this. Uh, very high rise, as you can see. Uh, I think these are 14. Oh, it says wash separately before wearing. Tint color may transfer onto white fabrics and upholstery. Well, that's good to know. Okay, so these are size 14. It looks like before the sale, they would have been 68 and they were on sale for 45. So uh, they have kind of an interesting like elastic waistband on the inside that makes them very comfortable, very stretchy. I'm a little worried that they will kind of stretch out. Uh, I think like a year and a half ago, I was probably wearing a 12, but I tried the 12 on and I think it was just giving me a little bit too much uh, muffin top. So uh, these are just a little bit more comfortable and stretchy to wear. And uh, I saw Black Widow, I think the 
weekend before I purchased these and I was really inspired to get a pair of black jeans. Uh, I didn't own a pair of black jeans. I have some other um, skinny jeans that may or may not fit me at the moment, but I don't know. I just kind of was in the mood to get some black ones. And uh, yeah, so these will be kind of comfortable to um, throw on. Uh, and speaking of Black Widow, I didn't get these at Nordstrom, but I did figure out that uh, Florence Pugh is wearing these, I think they're like claw earrings from uh, Misoma or Missima. So I purchased them from Missima and uh, she has the gold, but I got the silver and I think they said that their silver is actually rhodium plated, which is what is usually um, the metal on white gold. So that should hopefully help prevent them from tarnishing. This year, for some reason, has been a little bit kind of sensitive. I don't know if it's just like the earlobe thickness, but I've had a little bit of trouble kind of getting them in and out. Okay, so hopefully you can kind of see how it, how it works there. So I don't know if I just need to like sterilize a needle and put it through. I mean, I've been wearing earrings fairly frequently, so I don't think it's the whole and like I said, this one doesn't seem to really be having as much trouble, so I don't know. But I think they're really, they're really cute. They kind of go with this necklace, I think, uh, with the moon and everything. So anyway, that is my <laughs> attempt at like, uh, what do they call it? Not cosplay. What do they call it? Disney bounding? Like when you kind of have a street style in the style of your favorite Disney character. Uh, so this is my non-cosplay attempt at Black Widow. Okay, so yeah, so I got these jeans. They're great. I wanted to try them on in store, so I think that is it for these. Okay, so next up we have these Nordstrom pajamas that everyone talks about. I'm kind of on the fence about these. Um, they're nice, they feel really smooth, and I think they're that modal fabric again. Let's see. Yeah, 95% modal, 5% um, spandex, machine wash cold, and tumble dry low. Um, so I guess a couple things. Uh, one, the V is a little bit lower than I might prefer, although it doesn't really matter because they're pajamas. Uh, just as a like aesthetic thing. Uh, and I am wearing a bra with this, just because of the internet, but uh, obviously I, I don't really wear um, a bra to sleep in. Uh, I just, I don't know, I think that it's not the most flattering on my hips. Um, which again, is their pajamas, but I just feel like, I don't feel like super great in them, to be honest. Uh, I think these are a size large. In full price, these would be $65. I think they're $42, something like that. Uh, so they have the drawstring waist. Uh, and they don't have, I have to show you, okay. So they don't have any piping on the bottom, which I think just kind of, it would have been a nice kind of finishing touch. I think normally when you have the style of pajamas, you have kind of a finishing touch on the ends as well. So I don't know, I'm just, I'm not in love with these. Um, I have another alternative from the gap um, to show you so again like it's one of those like I have something I like better so I don't know if I want to keep this although obviously you can have multiple pairs of pajamas so yeah I think these might be going back I just don't feel terrific okay so these are the uh, gap pajamas I purchased a little while ago they're a little bit different than um, some other ones I've gotten these are their like true sleep line I think so, you know, I don't know if they really fit all that much different, uh, but they're the same kind of modal blend. Um, these have that pattern. I saw right now that they have some that are leopard print. So if you wanted um, like a leopard style pajama, these have little pockets, uh, which I don't know how useful those would be. So. Again, it's just another option. Um, I'm not affiliated with Gap in any way, uh, other than like shopping links. Um, so I'm not gonna be paid to talk about their products. Uh, but I just wanted to kind of, I guess reinforce that Nordstrom isn't the only place to buy clothes. So I'm just kind of giving you uh, 
some shopping options. So nice and comfy and like I said, I have this pair, I have another pair um, that has a slightly different neckline and everything, but um, I'll, I'll link what I can down below. I don't think the other pair I have is still available. Uh, but yeah, like you can see, I don't know how many pairs of matching pajamas that are navy that I need. Okay, <laughs> it's getting warm with all this um, fall attire on, no air conditioning. Okay, so I just wanted to talk about these open edit pants. Um, so it's the same brand as this necklace. Um, I don't think I was really familiar with them before, but I seem to have bought two pieces from them. Uh, these are, how do I describe these? They're kind of like nice looking leggings. Like, I don't know if you can see, there's a seam down the front here, and then they have like a little um, zipper on the ankle. Uh, and these are quite long. Like I would say they're basically touching the floor. And like I said, I'm like 5'10", 5 5'11". 5 uh, and I got a size large. So it comes up uh, pretty much to my belly button there. Uh, so I, I like these. They, they were pretty inexpensive. If you're looking for, I guess, a cheaper alternative to the uh, Spanx like black pants that may be um, sold out. Uh, I think these are nice. I haven't tried the Spanx one, so I can't really speak to how they compare, but at least kind of in theory and in use, they seem to be pretty similar. Um, they are, I think, just a little thin. Um, so I am wearing like commando underwear, laser cut or whatever, and I feel like it might show through. It's hard to see with all the lights and it being black and everything, but uh, there's that. Uh, I think for my comfort as well, there's nothing like really sucking you in or anything like that. So you might want to wear kind of like Spanx shorts with these, um, just to give you a little bit of a nicer look. But yeah, like I said, I think they're about 30 bucks. I think for the price, they're pretty good. Uh, and I could, in theory, wear these to work if I ever go back to work, but uh, I, I just think they're a nice kind of multi-use pant that I could take traveling. So I was kind of pleasantly surprised by these. I mean, they feel very kind of stretchy and comfy uh, and I got a large, so. So yeah, so it was one of those things where I wasn't sure if I would have to size up, but uh, they seem to be pretty forgiving. Okay, so that was it for that first large order. Uh, and like I said, some of the items I ordered were canceled. Uh, one was the uh, free people jacket, another was the cut from the cloth jacket, and then that like CC puff sleeve uh, top. So on July 18th, two days after I purchased my initial order, I ordered the cut from the cloth jacket and the CC top again because they both said that they were in stock. Uh, those were both canceled. Uh, I also ordered the free people jacket as I think a different order that was also canceled. Uh, and then I think that might have been the day that we went in store and I got those jeans and my husband got um, this BP hoodie. So just kind of a basic black hoodie. I might pick up another hoodie for him this weekend as well. But uh, this was from BP, I think. Yeah, BP, which is like a store brand. Uh, and this was only 22 bucks, down from 35. So just kind of a basic black hoodie for my husband. So I also ordered some shoes, uh, like the next day. Uh, I got these Born sandals. Uh, so I just wanted a pair of sandals that could give me a little bit more support than like Birkenstocks, that sort of thing, just have a little bit more cushion to them. Uh, and these have the black strap uh, and they come in, I think, a few different colors. I'm not sure if they come in half sizes. I ordered a nine and I'm a lot of times either a nine and a half or a 10, but I thought because they were sandals, you know, I could probably size down and they pretty much like fit the outline of my foot exactly. I don't think you'll be able to see. <laughs> uh, so yeah, so I've worn them out, so I'm definitely keeping them, but I don't know, they're just a little bit more cushy, and uh, these were 39, I think. So 
I've been kind of wanting some more comfortable sandals to walk in uh, throughout the summer and and even though you typically wear sandals in the summer obviously uh, I decided to um, pick them up for what remains of this summer and then next summer okay uh, speaking of walking I got two pairs of booties uh, this first pair is from Corky's oops uh, which I don't think I've ever purchased or heard of really. And uh, like I said, we were planning to go to Chicago, but I don't think, I don't know, who knows at this point. Uh, so I was looking for a pair of booties that would be a little bit more stylish maybe than a pair of um, like the Skechers I have, even though like a lot of people wear the kind of designer sneakers now. But uh, anyway, I just wanted a pair of low heeled Kind of black booties uh, to walk in that sort of thing that would be decently supportive these feel pretty nice i think as the name would suggest they have cork or leather in them to kind of help cushion the foot uh, and these are chelsea booties so they have that kind of elastic on either side and i think i've come to the conclusion that i just don't like Chelsea booties, so uh, I'm going to be sending these back. I think they were a little bit more expensive. Those were 129 down from 199 uh, so I just, I don't love them, and I'm not sure if I will need them for the original purpose I bought them for. Uh, next up we have the Eco booties. Uh, these are also Chelsea booties, but they have a little bit more I don't know, but they're just a little bit more of a chunkier style, I guess. Um, also have the elastic on either side, have the heel and everything like that. I think these were a US size 10 or a European size 41 is how they're um, labeled. So yeah, again, these were like $100 and I don't think I need them. And I also found that that pair in particular, um, they were really kind of hard to get on, like the elastic was just kind of tight. And I know the elastic would probably like stretch out over time, but I don't know. I think they're they're too expensive for me to not be in love with them. So I think I'm gonna send those back. Okay, so like I said, I'd ordered that cut from the cloth jacket and I'd been searching to see if it was on the cut from the cloth website or if I could find it at another retailer. Uh, and I ended up finding it on the Nordstrom Rack website in plus sizes. So I think they had 1X, 2X and 3X. And I don't know if it's just to kind of maintain the brand or what, but uh, the actual brand on the listing doesn't say cut from the cloth. It says like SWAT something or other. Uh, but you can see here what I actually got. And then also like on the pictures on the website, like the detailed pictures and the little videos they have, they were referencing cut from the cloth. So. Uh, if you do wear a plus size and you were disappointed that this jacket didn't have plus sizes, or if you think you can wear a plus size uh, anyway, then you might want to check this out. Uh, I think this was actually $20 cheaper than the sale price on Nordstrom also. Uh, so just something to keep in mind. Uh, so like I said, I usually wear, I'm usually like a large, extra large, and uh, this is a 1X. Uh, so I think it's like a woman's size, so it has a little bit more room in the arm area, that sort of thing. Uh, I think I could have made this work. You know, I think it's designed to be more of a, like, fitted jacket. So I was wondering, like, if I could get it tailored, that sort of thing. Uh, the story does have a happy ending, so I won't be keeping it. But uh, just to let you know that this is out there, like, I posted about this on Instagram and uh, it's nice that it's available um, and it's even cheaper so that was why I placed an order at Nordstrom Rack and then if you have shopped at Nordstrom Rack before unlike Nordstrom they don't have free shipping automatically I think you have to spend at least 89 uh, so I thought about picking this up in store but I decided to just order uh, so this by the way uh, you can machine wash it cold in the gentle cycle and then tumble dry it. So that is pretty impressive. It is a faux suede, so it's basically polyester and spandex. 
uh, and it's not lined. So I think that's fine. It doesn't really bother me, but if it would bother you, just let you know it's not lined. Uh, and it does have a little bit of kind of like a raw hem to it, uh, like on the neckline. So I think this is a really great light jacket for fall. Uh, and when I purchased that, I was kind of going through the website to see what else I might want to pick up. I uh, ended up getting this one state draped cross front top uh, for $17.97, so 69% off from the original retail price of $59. And as I'm sure you're aware, one state is a uh, brand that Nordstrom sells, hence why it's up Nordstrom Rack. Uh, and I think this might be another kind of recurring style. It's like it has a little bit of thread there that I need to remove. Uh, but yeah, this might be a recurring style, so they might have other color options and sizes on the Nordstrom website, but uh, I decided to pick it up. It has this kind of like gray leopard print, which is just a little bit different, uh, and I think it's, it's pretty flattering. So uh, like I said, I do have a smaller chest, but I do think that there's a lot of fabric here, so I think if you did have a larger chest, like I think you would probably still be well covered. I don't know if it would you know, be a little tighter around that area than it is on me, but uh, I think it's a pretty nice flattering top, just something a little bit different, a little bit edgier maybe than I would typically wear. So uh, yeah, I'm excited to have this for like 18 bucks basically. All right, and then I also got two belts from All Saints. Uh, these were each 20 bucks and they were originally like 78. Uh, so I got this like black on black one. Uh, just, I don't know, just been a while since I bought any belts. Uh, these are a size 42. Going on my hips, they'll probably be the right size. If I were, you know, belting my true waist, you know, they might be a little, a little small, but I think my husband could probably punch another hole in there if I needed it, so. Uh, yeah, this is just kind of a, a basic black belt from All Saints. Uh, and then there was also this kind of taupey, I'll show you the texture of it. Just something a little bit different. And this has that like kind of more chunky silver hardware and it does have the logo on the belt loop. Um, this one does as well, it's just not as obvious because it's a little bit more subtle. So yeah, I just, you know, did belt dresses or do whatever. I picked up this Orvis dress from Costco, which I guess I can show you really quickly. Uh, so this is the, it's like the Orvis pack and go, pack and go dress. So I've already tried this on, it fits well, but as you can probably see, it has this like drawstring waist, uh, which works, but I thought it would just be nice to kind of have a belt instead of the drawstring, just to kind of give it a little bit more style. So. That's kind of what I had in mind when I purchased those. Okay, so this is a sweater I ordered from Nordstrom. Uh, this is the Halogen brand. And I really like this type of color on me, especially um, in the fall. I think I've looked at those like color theory charts to kind of figure out like if you're a, a winter or spring or whatever. I think I'm like a muted summer or something. I, it's a little confusing, but anyway, I always like these kind of jewel tones on me. And I thought this was a sweater I could probably wear to work um, as well, if I ever do go to work. Um, I think it actually does pretty well with these pants because it's a little bit longer. It kind of covers up anything going on in this area. Uh, it has these nice kind of, kind of balloon sleeves, but they're not so large and you have this more tapered cuff area. So I think it'll be easier to kind of layer with a jacket or anything like that. Um, it's not super fitted, but it's not like super thick or chunky either. It's pretty thin. Uh, this part of it, I don't know if you'll be able to see it there. Uh, this part of it is actually ribbed, which I didn't uh, see, I guess, on the website. This is like a smoother knit compared to this. So I don't hate it. And it's from Halogen. So this was $39.90 down from $69. One thing about the Nordstrom brands, especially like Halogen, that sort of thing, you can usually find them on sale 
periodically or at the end of the season. So I, I wouldn't be too bent out of shape if you're not able to purchase something from a Nordstrom store brand during the sale because, you know, it's their brand. There's a good chance it'll go on sale later. Uh, but anyway, uh, I think this is called the burgundy stem color. And if you search for that on the Nordstrom website, there will be a lot of different items in this color. So uh, that's one thing to note if you do like a color maybe, but you don't love the particular style or whatever. Um, this would actually, I think, be tucked in pretty well because it's thin. I'm not sure it looks good with these pants, but you know. So it's a nice sweater. Um, this was what I had ordered and it was canceled and then it popped up again and I reordered it and then it actually shipped. So I only had to reorder this one once. Uh, speaking of reordering things, I did order the Free People jacket for the third time and that was also canceled. So. I don't know. I've heard that maybe you can get like them to adjust a price after the sale ends if you've tried to order it or if you need a different size. Um, I don't know. We'll, we'll see about that. That's kind of my, my white whale at the moment. Oh, and I did want to mention that CC puff sleeve um, top that I mentioned. I, I looked at that in store. It was actually in store, I think, after it had been canceled. Uh, and it was like that really kind of polyester -y type feeling um, so that's just not I, I don't enjoy that type of feeling or fabric or whatever so I'm kind of glad in the end that it was canceled and I didn't have to go through the hassle of uh, returning it okay so speaking of items that were canceled okay so I just threw on the first black tee that I could find which happens to be the one from Banana Republic but anyway uh, so I saw that the cut from the cloth jacket uh, there were originally three colors. I think there was the buff one that I showed you that's the same as um, the one from Nordstrom Rack. Uh, there's this color, which is, I think, olive green, something like that. And then there was like a cognac color, uh, which was pretty. I just wasn't sure if it would like really suit my coloring. Uh, but anyway, I saw this one come up uh, in stock on the Nordstrom site. And this might have been a return, actually, because it looks like they printed a label. Uh, yeah, dark olive, and this is the size large. So I had originally ordered it in extra large based on kind of their size chart. Like I think a 14 was an extra large, but I thought, you know what? I wasn't quite sure if the 1X was the right size for me. Like I said, I was thinking about if I could get it tailored, that sort of thing. So I decided to order the large. Uh, and like I said, it's meant to be a little fitted. Um, I do like this color more in person than I thought I would, but I just wanted to show you kind of how it looks when it's zipped. I don't really plan on zipping it that often, but just to kind of give you a sense of the size. So that's kind of how it looks zipped. I mean, it just feels a little tight, like it fits, but um, I don't know. So I, I tried the large because I wasn't sure where I was. So I was like, I might as well give it a shot. Uh, but I did end up getting, da, 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 da. But I did end up getting the extra large that I had originally purchased in the color that I had originally purchased. Uh, so this came back into stock and I ordered it and it did ship. So, uh, I think this is what we're going to stick with. Uh, like I said, this is the extra large, so I think it's a little bit more flattering on me. Like my husband agrees that this is the best size out of the three. Uh, so it's a little bit more flattering on me. Um, the sleeves are a bit long. Like I said, I am quite tall, so if you are more petite, I'm not sure where the sleeves would hit on you, but uh, based on the finish, I'm not sure if that'll come up. It looks like it's just kind of cut and then they sewed over it. So that might actually be a fairly easy alteration to make. And I think Nordstrom will do free alterations. Maybe if you're a card holder, I'm not sure. But anyway, uh, for me, it, it works because I'm, I'm tall and whatever. But uh, yeah, so I think, like I said, it has the best of both worlds, kind of being a little bit more fitted, but not too, too tight. And I'm just wearing that black tee 
underneath as kind of a layering piece. So this has that moto style um, zipper, little pockets. So I think this is what we're we're gonna stick with. Like I said, I'm kind of tempted by that green now, so we'll see if I end up picking up another one, but I do like this kind of buff color. Um, I think it works for my kind of cool, cooler skin tone and my general coloring. And the All Saints jacket that I've been trying to purchase for the last two weeks or whatever, uh, that is like in a dark charcoal gray color. So I would have kind of one lighter jacket and one darker jacket. Uh, okay, so one more thing two more things actually. I did order that MAC set with the brush and the blush, I think. Uh, and that's basically just because I like the kind of Art Deco design of it and I like that kind of duo fiber brush. I don't have high hopes for the blush, but I think it's pretty to look at, so I ended up ordering that. And then, uh, just quickly, I guess, I did get a Barefoot Dreams um, blanket from Nordstrom Rack a while ago. Uh, so I can vouch for this. Uh, I think I prefer the unhide blanket, but this is a really great kind of more, I guess, lightweight kind of stretchy blanket for the couch. Uh, so I can vouch for that. And the circle cardigans are great. I have a large, extra large, and I think two different colors now. I have like a light gray and a dark gray. So those are great if you were on the fence about those. Uh, and then one more um, All Saints item I have. This I actually purchased, oh gosh, when I was still going into the office. So over a year and a half ago, obviously before the pandemic and everything like that. Uh, and I forget exactly what they call this. It's, um, it's a little leather bag from All Saints. And I've been using this as my wallet for the most part. Uh, you can wear it crossbody and it does adjust. Um, I have it on the longest setting, but it does have um, multiple holes there. Uh, so it has a leather strap and then you can also attach uh, this chain. It comes in a little dust bag. So if you prefer a chain, a silver metal chain you can uh, hook that on to um, there's some little uh, loops here and I bought this because uh, like when I was going to the office and I wanted to run out with um, my wallet and my phone but I just wanted something that wouldn't be too large or whatever uh, this was the solution I came up with and uh, I've been using it since I've kind of thought about swapping it out for a smaller wallet that doesn't have this strap and everything because I don't really need that kind of functionality at the moment but uh, it's a really nice kind of like pebbled green leather and like I said I've been using it kind of constantly um, for possibly two years and it still still looks great um, so it has this zipper pocket with the tassel and I don't think I have anything too sensitive in here. Uh, so inside the zipper pocket, it has this little slip pocket and then it has an All Saints uh, leather label there and just, you know, more things. I have like a spare key and some lens wipes. So there's that. And then there's also this compartment that you can stuff receipts as I am want to do or a parking um, thingamajiggy. Uh, when you open it up, it has another slip pocket here where I shove more receipts and then this um, larger compartment, again, more receipts. I need to um, clean this out. So yeah, that was where I would put my phone. You could probably stick a lip gloss, that sort of thing. Um, it has a, another zippered compartment here that I put coins in and then it has three, four, eight card holders. Uh, so yeah, so that's I think a really great little um, item if you want like a very minimal bag. Um, I think this is on sale for like $100, so it gives you a lot of options. You can take the strap off all together, you can swap the strap, um, lots of different pockets there. Uh, I guess I'll show you as far as wear and tear. 
focus. Okay, it looks like there might be some light, like kind of threads or whatever right there, but not, not terrible. Okay, so that is it for my try on haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this style of video from me. Uh, I'm not a fashion vlogger or blogger by trade um, or hobby, but I am a human and I do wear clothes and I like to look decent on occasion. So uh, I hope you enjoyed kind of seeing what I picked out. And uh, I am coming up on my 10 year YouTube anniversary and I'm 70 subscribers away from 2000. So uh, I would very much appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button if you haven't done so already. And yeah, let me know if you're picking up anything this final weekend of the Nordstrom sale or if you found uh, any new favorites um, from the sale this year. Uh, but I hope you guys are all staying very safe and healthy out there and I will talk to you soon. Bye.